Yo, this video is sponsored by TurboSmurfs.gg guys Use the link in the description to save 50% Enjoy the video Okay, tier list to what I predict the next champions Gonna be like what champions are gonna be broken with the new changes next patch, okay? Okay, next patch Assassin items are getting buffed And ADs on that items are getting buffed, okay? Where is it? Statics, i.e. Ginzus Okay, making you immune to spells as well? Yes, it does Ginju, Ginju's Ghost Blade, uh, Ginju's Rage Blade, sorry, Rage Blade is a mythic item now, it gives you 30, 80, 30 AP at 25 attack speed and then the casual on hit and basic attacks rent at uh, 8 attack speed, up to 32 attack speed and on top of that, the mythic passive for each legendary item you get 5 armor pen and 6 magic pen so guess what, Vayne just got AP ratio on a W so guess which champion are gonna be Z tier next patch guys guess which champion, Vayne Vayne's W the now has AP ratios. That means Vayne, like tanks are done. Tanks are done. Vayne is gonna be Z tier. She always was a decent champ, but like very hard in laning phase. And now that on the champions are meta, you just need to get good CS on lane. Like literally just get 9 CS per minute on Vayne and it's GG. After you're 6 on Vayne, after you hit Rage Bait, it's GG. You have to hit Rage Bait on Jane, uh, Vayne and then it's over. It's Jova. Vayne is literally Z tier next patch. So much mobility, so much movement speed, you can dodge easily, you shred tanks, like, oh my god, this champion. You can literally go Rage Blade, Kraken, and then even Shield Bow, or Borg, because Shield Bow is now also not a mythic item anymore. Vayne Z tier. Now that champion is gonna be Z tier, where's the devil, Kogma? Kogma Lulu, guys, we have to perma ban Lulu. All those on-hit enchanters are gonna be played with Lulu, so us Rengar 1 tricks have to be united. And have to make Lulu go up to 99% ban rate. You have to ban Lulu. Because Kogma is gonna be broken. Kogma has AP ratio on his W anyway. And now with his with the Rage Blade, with the Borg, with the Runa's Hurricane, with everything, Kogma is gonna be so strong. Kogma Lulu is gonna be one of the best bot lanes ever. Like on the champions are so good. And Vayne top as well. But Kogma, bro, once you get the Rage Blade going, I don't know. There's no stopping those champs. There's no stopping those champions. Kogma, Vayne, Z tier. So strong. So strong. Yi as well. Yi Rage Blade. Perfect item for Yi. With Rage Blade, you just go crazy mode. Yi has been a Z tier the whole time and it's just gonna be stronger. Like, they have to nerf Yi. Because Yi already is insanely broken. Yi is already OP and it's gonna get even stronger. That's crazy. Yi also Z tier. Like, so f***ing strong. Next up, which champion? If you just on it well. I uh, well. Vayne and uh, Kogma are the two most casual on champions. Another one that has been strong the whole time. And it's getting stronger as uh, is Varus. Varus is gonna be shredding some people. His Q also gets more damage because of the AP ratios. AD Varus probably. Now just a uh, uh, hybrid Varus with Rage Blade. Now, Varus is just like, I don't know. You ult someone, three, four, actually you can get 10 auto attacks in the ult duration with the attack speed. One QW, they die. Like all the other champions are getting buffed. All the other champions. You know what I guess is gonna be also meta? What people don't think about? I think hybrid Kai'Sa is gonna be meta, since Kai'Sa has insane AP scalings. I think, I think uh, hybrid Kai'Sa. Hybrid Kai'Sa is gonna be hella strong, cause now you deal damage with W with Q. You get three evo evolutions. You get W evolution as well, and you can poke in late game and still one shot tanks in uh, late game as well. And you have early strength. I think Kai'Sa is gonna be underrated. Good. I think those are gonna be the best ADCs next patch, unless Xayah gets nerfed. Xayah is also up there, even though she doesn't abuse them. But Xayah can- Oh, wait, 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 you know what I forgot? I forgot the IE users. Where is he? The demon. Draven. Draven is gonna be so broken. Now that IE is a mythic item, you can get IE first item. He's gonna go IE into Bloodthirster. This guy will two- like, two autos you die. Two auto attacks and you die with Draven. Like, Draven is crazy good with the new items. IE mythic and it's doomed. IE Bloodthirster. You get two shot. You can also go collector, not collector's buffed. Crazy strong. And yeah, Katarina, but because Katarina abuses on it items. Now imagine Katarina with Rage Blade. Imagine Katarina with full on AP items. Like here ulti one shots everyone. Her passive ult already one shots people. Like there's so much stuff that's gonna be changing, guys. But a nerf to Katarina is you have to consider roaming junglers, uh, roaming mid laners are nerfed. Because now the mid lane wave synchronizes with the side lane waves. So they, they, they arrive at the lane the same time. That means mid laners can't push out mid wave anymore. And by the time the top lane wave arrives, roam top lane. But Katarina just doesn't need to roam. She's such a stat monster with the new items. Like holy moly, holy moly. Roaming mid laners are kinda doomed, but Katarina, I don't know. Just insane champ overall. Oh no, nah, it's gonna be crazy meta. On the champions meta with Draven. Like champions that abuse IE. 
That's gonna be fun. Now let's get over to the assassins. Let's get over to the assassins. Let's get over to the assassins. We are gonna be eating good. We are gonna be eating good. You know what assassins are gonna be Z tier? Especially in the jungle, which ones are gonna be good? Obviously are my baby, my boy Ranga with Yomus. Ranga, Yomus, Prowlers, Collector, Essence Reaver. Ranga is gonna be so broken. Like you have no idea how strong Ranga is gonna be. He already is good. Ranga is gonna be oof. Like oof. Ranga is gonna be so good. Yomus so good on him. More jump range, more tempo early game, exactly what you want. Same with uh, Prowler. You get the dust bit, all dust bit passive on Prowler on every leap, every five seconds. Oof, Ranga is gonna be so good. My baby's getting some love. I assume they're gonna nerf Ranga though. Which other assassin is gonna be meta and jungle? Guess which one? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Like assassins are gonna be eating good, like I said. This one. Staying in life. Talon. Talon is gonna be also so good. Talon with Yumus or Dustblade. Like especially Talon with Dustblade. You can guaranteed execute someone and then go untargetable and just jump over a wall. You know how crazy it is for Talon? Talon is gonna be so strong. Like 15% damage, bonus damage on low HP targets. Talon just executes every champion and then ease out. And then there's a pick for free. And this champion's kit does so much damage that he just one-shots anyone. Talon is gonna be insanely strong next patch. Insanely strong. I mean, all the assassins are getting buffed, but I think some benefit more than others. Which one as well? I don't think Kane. I don't that these items don't benefit Kane that much. Kane could def can definitely be decent, but I mean Kane doesn't do much with actually with Dustblade. Actually, wait, 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 Dustblade! I forgot. Kane has Dustblade. I was thinking about Yumus. But what other lethality items? Kane can't go collector because of the crit. What if Kane goes Dustblade? And Kane does Kane use Prowler? Probably not. Kane only has Dustblade, but Dustblade on Kane is gonna be looking very good. Like, Dustblade is specifically good for champions that can guaranteed kill one target and then have an escape spell. Like Kane, like Talon. Kane E, Talon E. But I think Kane is not gonna be Z tier. I think S tier. I think S tier. Because this early game is still so weak. This early game is still so weak. Kha'Zix? Kha'Zix is already very good. I think, yeah, Ka I mean, Kha'Zix is Prowler. Could be juicy. I mean, to be fair, there's an Eclipse. I think Kha'Zix is gonna be ZT as well. Kha'Zix is gonna have a lot of decent build. Like, I mean, almost every Assassin is gonna be insane. I don't think Kane is gonna be as good as the other ones, specifically Rengar Talon. I think they're go it's gonna be like this. Talon S tier. Uh, Kha'Zix S tier. Because, I don't know, he uses the items well, the utility items. I spell, like, every every champion that uses uh, Yumus is kinda very good. Every champion that uses Yumus is very good. And Kha'Zix can use Yumus very well. I think Kazu is gonna be Z tier. So much damage, so much tempo, so much movement speed. You can get Prowlers every time you jump, you auto take the 99% slot. Kazu is the, I, yeah, I think Kazu is gonna be Z tier. I think very good. What other says Z? I think Z is the only assassin that doesn't benefit from them. That kinda gets nerfed. I mean, Z has to play the ability haste build. Z has to still play the ability haste build. What item is good on Z? Yumus, I mean, okay, but then he's squishy. Hydra, Yumus. Okay, I mean Eclipse, but not the new items. I think the new items are gonna be outstanding. Yeah, the Zed doesn't really care about the new items. He just goes, he just goes Eclipse, Revenous, Hydra. Zed just overall benefits from the meta shift. Zed benefits from the meta shift, from Enchanters, uh, ADCs, and Assassins overall. Because Zed wins every Assassin matchup. Because of his ultimate and his mobility. Zed wins every Assassin matchup. Like, all of these champions are good, Zed is good against. All these champions, Z just counters really. I think the only one that is hard, or like 50-50, no, not even Talon. Z counters all of them, so that's why I put him, put him S tier, but he doesn't really care about the item changes. Yasuo, Yasuo's not an assassin. Oh, on the other hand, champions like Yasuo are gonna get nerfed because of Zeal. Like, all the crit items are nerfed, like Zeal for example. So, where's Yasuo? Yasuo's gonna be like B tier, C tier. Where's Yon? Unless Yon can abuse honored items? Which he technically can, but I don't think... Actually, Yon can go on it, no? Actually, what if you go on it, Yon? Imagine you go on it, Yon. So Yasuo is C tier because Zeal is nerfed. All the items that Yasuo uses are nerfed. Like, Yasuo has to go IE first. I mean... ABC I, crit items are nerfed, so I think Yasuo is C tier. Unless you're very good on Yasuo, it's gonna be suffering. I think you can go on it, Yon, though. 
What about Rage Bait Yon? You get more E damage. Rage Bait Borg Yon. And then you just go tank. With Force of Nature. Spirit Visage. I think on it Yon could be really good. Lethality Nocturne? Nah, I mean. No, that's not Noct what Nocturne wants. Nocturne doesn't want a one shot, usually. Kane good versus that? No. I mean, actually, if Kane gets his combo off before, yes. Kane is the only one that can deal with that. If he W's and then ulties the Z. He's the only one that deals with him properly. Raven already went by Weth, it's just OP, OP overall. Doesn't get benefited that much. But is there another champion that, like, hard benefits from the changes? Hacker? Nah. Yumo Hacker, maybe. Yumo Hacker, maybe. Kiana? I mean, Kiana's Assassin overall. I don't see what Kiana should use. The thing is, Kiana uses Yomus, right? So every Yomus user, like I said, is gonna be strong. Yomus Prawler. I mean, I guess she's an Assassin that uses Lethality items. Lethality items are gonna be kinda nice. Pretty much every Assassin is gonna be very strong next patch. Every Assassin is gonna be strong. Graves? I mean, what would Graves use? Graves could also just use Yomus. But Graves, I think Gra Bruiser Graves is stronger than... Than uh, Lethality Graves. Like, Graves is so low range that he gets punished by everything. Unless you're against full melee comp, Graves gets punished. You know? You know what I mean? Twitch! Actually, Twitch has good AP ratios. On the Twitch is gonna be good. On the Twitch is gonna be good. Actually, yeah, I think Rage Bay Twitch is gonna be also very good. Especially with the range. You one shot everything from like 10 km range. Twitch is endless, I didn't see him. Twitch with Ginges will be f***ing crazy. Actually, you just attack people from one screen away. They can't even see you and you one-shot them. Ooh, wait, I forgot. Assassins, there's another one no one thinks about. This little rat, no one likes you, but you're gonna be strong next patch. Are you happy? Are you happy? Prawler on Shaco, 99% slow, guarantees two more attacks afterwards. That's OP. Dust Blade, after one shot you get untargetable so you can Q away again. That's gonna be OP. Shaco is gonna be crazy with the lethality items. Shaco is gonna be eating good. Shaco is gonna be eating good. I think those are the champions that benefit the most. All Shaco damage comes from auto attacks. Yeah, to lethality items and to crit you can go collector. Yeah, yeah, he's gonna be broken. More broken than ever. Can't build Dust. Why can't you build Dust? You can literally go Dust Blade, Essence Reaver. Or Borg, Dust Blade. For sure Dust Blade is gonna be decent. Xin? I don't see why now Xin is Bruiser. I don't see why Lethality Xin would do there. Tier list, what champions are gonna be OP with the next patch? Or like very good. You can go you can go Ash as well, Honored Ash theoretically. But I think the other Honored champions are better. Oh wait, do you mean that Chiru Shaco doesn't get the Dust Bit Amplifier? Shaker doesn't get the dust bit amplifier. That's true. Neither does Rengar. You're right, actually, Chitaro. You're right. Oh, because dust bit amplifier only gets affected by the uh, by abilities. That's true. Yumos Hecarim could be S tier. Imagine you got Yumos on Hecarim, and then and then Ravenous Hydra or something, and then just run over the whole map ten. 10 million movement speed. Maybe movement speed Hecarim comes back actually. With Yomos. Maybe Predator movement speed. Yomos Hecarim comes back with Ghost. And you just one shot people again. Like season 9 Hecarim. Yomos is gonna be a mythic. Jace is obviously gonna be strong. GP? No. Crit items are nerfed. I think GP is gonna get nerfed. Prowler is also decent for Hecarim. I think those champions. Are gonna be good. Hi guys. I need to take a piss and grab some food. That was a good talk.